So I've been using Linux for about a month now, hopping between different distros, ultimately landing on Arc based ones. Like I really liked Arc Linux, but I will I went through spent about a week and a half like setting things up and it took a while. Like I learned a lot and I still wanna eventually go back and do that process over again. But I came to the point where it's like, okay, I like Arc Linux, I like having Pac-Man and all that. So I want the same thing but without having to do all this setup work to actually use the thing. So I did some research and I found out there's things called dot files, which essentially allows you to take someone else's Linux distribution or how they have their web set, their PC set up. It's a lot of terms and everything, so it's kind of hard to how they have their PC set up and or settings for Hyperland and take it and use for yours. So essentially, this is a very popular one called ML4W. And I took that one, took the dot files, downloaded it onto my computer, and now I have it on my computer, my laptop. So essentially, that's what this video is about, kind of going over that and why it's helped so much for my productivity and why I'm considering even switching to it full time. So in that disclaimer, the footage is from my laptop, so the audio is going to sound a bit different from this. And also, I decided that. I'm only going to use it on my laptop for now because there's this thing, this weird thing where it has a hard time dealing with NVIDIA cards. And so, like, I game also along with like editing and stuff on my computer. And so, I was like, okay, my laptop doesn't have an NVIDIA card, obviously. So, I'm going to just edit or I'm just going to have this on there. I have Mint on my computer because that doesn't have to deal with the graphics card. But yeah. I even said in the video, I recommend to do this on your laptop because you don't want to install it and then you figure out it doesn't work and you have to, you end up wasting a lot of time. But yeah, right into the video. All right, so in this section of the video, I'm going to be showing you my Linux that I downloaded and I'm going to show you why I like it kind of just show you some of the key binds and all that really quickly. This is a good way to start if you want to just have productivity out of the box because this is what I'm using. I should start out with this. But I'm using my Linux for work. Essentially it is a dot file, dot file for Hyperland which if you don't know I would just watch a video on this Hyperland. I'll show you. But basically it is a window manager tile manager it allows you to do cool things like this let me go ahead and open up a new thing that definitely just misclick okay pretty much open up all these terminals and it's super quick looks nice you can style it exactly how you want it and it's even dynamic so wherever you go It'll create one there. Come here, create it there. Super quick. You can make this can be windows. You can pop them out. You can change the location and swap them. It's really nice. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm not sure if you want to see my system info, all the stuff I have installed. I would prerequisite say that if you are wanting to install this, definitely I prefer I would recommend you do it on your laptop instead of your PC because if you don't like this, this has, has comes with Hyperland and Wayland, and Wayland is basically what allows you to customize all of this, right? You can see that I can see OBS is recording here. This works super nice out of the box instead of creating from scratch just switch you with Arch Linux. Essentially this is built on Arch Linux and Dever OS, which is why I chose this one specifically. I can all the exact same function. I can come in here and change this if I wanted to, but since he already made it and he doesn't really want you to edit that like I edited like a key bindings, but that's about it. Everything else is like is it works really well and the animation stuff are really nice. But 
enough about that. I'm just gonna hop straight into the keybinds. So I had this up. We're gonna go ahead and clear this. And we are going to go into my keybinds. Nano key binding. Like even this, he has it set up like each one is his own, so it's not one giant file, which is really nice. And so kind of show you and I'll even go through and do it. Got these set up to return is the enter key. So anytime then extra bank well, let me not skip over this. The main point. We use Linux or Hyperlin, not Linux. We use Hyperlin. You see this thing called Maiden Mod or a super key. Essentially, super is just the Windows key if you're on Windows. Whatever equivalent of the Windows key is. Right? So that anytime you see main mods, so that is. So for opening up a terminal, which is what I did, it's enter and Windows key. So like that. And then let's see if I can make this bigger because I'll just switch back and forth between the two. So we're going to do this here. You want to? You can just kind of look here and see all it does. The most important thing is all this stuff right here out of the box. Let's skip and come back to that. So workspaces, very important. One of the main reasons I chose this, or even just Hyperland General, is being able to do this, which you can do. Like, they have this in GNOME and other link distributions, but you have to download mods or extensions. This comes out of the box and it just works really nicely. So pretty much. I said main mod is the Windows key. So I come here for workspace one, I'm already on. So I do workspace two, three, four, five. I keep and create it. If you don't have it, I go back. And then that's pretty much all there is for that. And then let's say I want to move this to workspace five, which is empty right now. I would press Windows Shift five. Now if I go back to a one, it's no longer there. So you can quickly just move your work around to exactly where you want it at and have if you want your main two things on one and two, you can do that. It's super easy to adjust. Like I said, the main thing why I chose this over just doing Arch Linux like fresh, it would it it takes a lot. Like if unless you are willing to sit there for like days and figure out things and use chat GPT to get things exactly how you want and go through things breaking and they having to fix it and having to constantly close term open it back up restart your computer several times if you have the time and patience for that but if you don't like most people you're gonna want something like this it's out of the box super clean that's pretty much it for that show you a little showcase real quick it's not gonna be too long kind of so make some more windows like I said then next time I'm gonna do like a little key showing it on the screen as I type it then, okay that makes sense you can see it as I'm doing it right close the terminal you, you basically hover over which one you want super plus Q for Let's make some more real quick. For going in between terminals, if you have experience with NeoVim, you will be familiar with this. If not, quick thing. So in NeoVim or Vim, to move around, it's J H J K L. And so H is left, J is down, K is up, L is to the right. So Essentially, you press Windows key or super, and I'm pressing H and L to go back and forth. But since it's only two, I can press whatever key because it's just going to switch between the two. But when I add a window here below, now it's to go up, 
I press Windows key K and, and J to go back down. It's another way to do it because you want to keep your hands on the keyboard as much as possible and not really use your mouse. That's a great way to navigate across different tiles, right? And then another important thing, let me go back here so I don't forget anything. You can actually like you can drag windows, hold it super key down, and resize it. Actually, let me go ahead and open up something so you can actually see it. So let's say here, right? Firefox. Right? And that's kind of small. So you come in here, close that. I actually closed it. Even better, I'll show you an even better way to go about this. A five is empty. Let's go ahead and close that. Oh, it oh it automatically opens in the new one. Okay, I didn't know that. I did not know that. I'm not gonna lie. It automatically opens in. The, oh no, it doesn't. Okay. So pretty much, like I said, Windows shifts, and it sends it to there. Or even better way, instead of doing that, that's like an old way of doing it. Now you can come in here. Again, it's the keybind I had for browser. You can come in here. I can press, well not for the browser, for Rofi, which allows you to see all your apps and type in and search for them. So it's right here, Windows key, Shift A. And so, instead of doing that, come here, Zen browser, and loads it up. The only reason this is still here is because I have it set up. So like I basically came in here and change the size and all that and so this window is popped out right now see as soon as I pop it back in pop it back out and through that I'm just doing Windows key and T and then you can just come in here and kind of mess around with all these key binds so all this stock I didn't change any of this yeah I didn't change any of this besides this one here for my browser but yeah, this is by far like my favorite. Let me go ahead and make this a new terminal. Just go ahead and put this on six. Go ahead and close this. This is so nice. It's being able to see all your apps. And every search for something, if you're familiar with Windows, it'll search your computer and all that. This searches only for that. Like it doesn't search the web. Which is really nice and it's super clean. But this is not the original Rofi style because if you come in here and look, it has themes and everything for every so everything just looks super nice. Everything is configured like very well. And this took about 15 20 minutes to install. So, just some tips and tricks really quickly for this. So, for here, come in here, press GitHub. And you want to uh, get dot files. Cool. So this kind of gives you a little rundown. There's a video for it as well, but you can kind of follow this installation. Pretty much what I did is this one right here. Rolling release, which means you get all the latest updates as they come out. And the main release is like more stable. You can do whatever one you want. I did the rolling release. I like having new features as they come out. I like the new, in this case, the new like way he customizes to make things faster and all that. All right, so you come in here, and you do that, and it'll prompt you to, do you want to download? You pretty much just say yes to everything. Or if you don't know what something means, just ChatGPT it. Another tip, ChatGPT will be your best friend when installing this or anything Linux based. You want to figure out what something does, what a key by means, what a program is. Come in here and use ChatGPT. That's what I've done. You see on the side here, a lot of, I was just looking up fixing this and looking up how people do the, uh, this, I didn't know how people did this. I looked it up and it said to install this program called Neo fetch and there's also one called fast fetch which is what I use a lot of
lot of that, a lot of understanding how to fix things, install things, is very helpful. But yeah, if you're looking for a way to get into Linux, I would definitely recommend this. I've been enjoying it a lot. And I also have a set up dual boot, not on this, but on my computer, which I may or may not show because computer is not as cool as only I, I pretty much on my computer I just did a gnome setup which doesn't look as nice and also doesn't have hyperland because I again like I said earlier I ran into issues with Nvidia and all of that so but yeah if you enjoyed this video it's kind of all over the place but thank you for watching and subscribe if you haven't already